All right, well, if you head out to 104 in Orleans County, you will no doubt see many horse barns, hay barns, barns for cows, all sorts of barns. Mike Randall took a trip that way and discovered a one of a kind barn just for sneakers. About four decades ago, Bill Blount stepped into the sneaker biz. And I ended up uh, as a rep for Reebok back in 1982 when they were just starting. If you remember those days, you know sneakers, especially Reeboks, were huge. I mean, it was growing so fast that, you know, we couldn't supply all the orders. As a sales rep, Bill had to buy his own samples from the company. And it, you end up accumulating a lot of these samples. He decided to sell those samples out of his garage, and that went so well that in 1987, he built the sneaker barn. We've survived for 38 years, and when we started, there was five other um, similar, you know, type of merchandise stores in Orleans County, and now I'm the last one. That's right. If you're looking for footwear in Orleans County, Bill's your guy. When I was a kid, we'd go downtown and you had a choice of high tops or low tops, black or white. He's had a lot of fun over the years, like the time he bought a pair of size 23 sneakers. So I had one on the counter, and the other one I used uh, at the front door sometimes. We wanted to prop it open. And then a customer with really big feet wanted to buy them. He says, do you mind if I try it on? I said, go right ahead. He tried it on, his toes were just about touching. Of course, the sneaker barn also features socks, shoes, sandals, and other footwear. Bill says nowadays manufacturers will change their styles as often as every three months. Oh, look at these beauties. Oh, yeah. You know, I wear a size 11, but 12s feel so good, I, I buy a 13. Bill's turning the business over to his son and daughter-in-law and plans to work for them. As long as I can come down here, I, I enjoy, you know, chatting with people and working with people. And um, I look forward to a couple days a week. Bill Blount's taking on retirement the same way he tackled the sneaker biz. One step at a time. As long as I can, I'll probably keep doing it. Mike Randall, 7 News, Medina.